Hi guys, I'm doing this video in collaboration with Mommy Ruth. Mommy Ruth is also a brand new mama like me. She has a one-year-old son and um, like my channel, she focuses on motherhood and lifestyle. So I'll put her link down below so you can visit her channel. I hope you like her channel as well. And Blake, I think he's ready for a nap. Inaantok na siya. Blake is ready for a nap and I'm also gonna put a clip right next to this, a clip of um, a trailer of her little video of what her son eats throughout the day. And I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks. Good morning, guys. So Blake already had breast milk at this time. So he drinks breast milk first thing in the morning when he wakes up. And in about half an hour or an hour, I bring him downstairs in the kitchen and I make bananas and avocado for breakfast or sometimes I'll make oatmeal and bananas but this time I will make avocado and banana and I don't normally prep this ahead of time because as you know bananas and avocado tends to be pretty dark or turns black in a few hours or sometimes in just a few minutes so I'll just make this right before I give it to him I just basically mash bananas and avocados together and Blake is pretty young so he really cannot finish half of avocado and half of banana at this time medyo madami pa masyado for his size so I just normally would put some away for his snack in about an hour or two um, and this combination avocado and banana is one of his favorites as you know banana and avocado are very healthy Avocados are very rich in omega-3s and very low in sugar and loaded with antioxidants and very nutrient-dense fruit. Blake gets pretty upset sometimes because he wants to eat with his own fingers or hands and he likes to play with a spoon and he likes to grab it from me so what I would do is I will give him the spoon to play with and I will grab myself another spoon while he eats this way he can be happy while he eats. And after breakfast, I would normally give him a breast milk popsicle. A breast milk popsicle is very, very easy to make. What you do is you just put breast milk in a popsicle mold, you pop it in the freezer for a few hours, and voila, you have a breast milk popsicle that will entertain your little ones for a few hours or for a few minutes while you do the dishes or while you do some chores around the house. After two hours of playing with his toys, it's now nap time. It's time for mommy's milk and he's about to fall asleep for his morning nap. And after he wakes up from his nap, it's about lunchtime. Today we're having carrots and sweet potato. This baby food I make prior hand. I will normally make them over the weekend and would normally make about five to seven days worth of baby food. And I will just put it in the freezer so it doesn't go bad. And I would just, before he wakes up or prior, an hour prior he eats, I would put it, I will submerge it in hot water or if I don't have enough time, I would normally put it in the microwave for 25 seconds. Thank you. 
and I would normally eat my lunch with him this actually works really good because sometimes he seems like he's done and he doesn't want any more food but if I give him five to ten minutes break he would typically eat again after I give him a break and this is also a good time for me to eat about dinner time and this boy has a lot of energy so he needs to spend it so this is his favorite toy of all times this is the jolly jumper and it's a great exercise for little active boys like Blake and what didn't you see was he had uh, breast milk right before he went for his afternoon nap and when he wakes up we play a little bit and we cook together and we will eat dinner together and he will be having spinach and mango this is also from my baby food meal prep over the weekend And if my husband and I are having broccoli, green beans, or asparagus for dinner, I would typically give him a little bit just for the taste. And as long as the vegetable is soft enough and big enough to the point that he, I know he's not gonna choke, I would typically give it to him for practice. And I would normally watch him really closely. I don't take my eyes off of him when he's doing this to make sure that no big chunks is getting in his throat. And I think this is a good practice for when he's really ready to eat chunky food or really solid food this way he's already aware of what vegetables are and he's not gonna be picky around them because he's already aware of what they are and the texture and taste of them if you guys are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button i am a brand new mama and i am enjoying the whole process of this and i do a lot of motherhood and lifestyle video so i would really really appreciate if you come back to my channel and hopefully i can provide you with helpful information about raising a little baby Remember earlier when I mentioned that sometimes I have to give him 5 to 10 minute break when he's acting like he's done with his food? So this time it's really good for him to, for me to give him broccoli or asparagus or whatever vegetable we're having as his 5 to 10 minute break and I will normally come back to feeding him his real food. And this actually works really, really good with him because when I go back to giving him his real food, he would normally finish the whole jar. And he finished his spinach and mango dinner. And for you mamas out there, please don't get discouraged if your son or daughter doesn't like spinach or mango. Because with Blake, I think I had to try four times before he actually showed a little bit of interest to them. The first, the second, and the third time I tried it, he didn't want it at all. So luckily, the fourth time I tried it, he started showing a little bit of interest. So then I just kept going and to the point that he actually was eating the whole thing. And we're ending our night with breast milk, as you can see. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's what my seven month old baby eats on a day to day basis um, for now because I know it's going to change once he's a little older. But for now, that's his um, daily routine when it comes to meals. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you on my next video. Good night.